Assalamu alaikum students. <clears throat> Today we will study about <clears throat> mutually exclusive events and those <clears throat> non uh, mutually exclusive events of probability. So if two events uh, A and C can occur at the same time, uh, the events uh, are known as non mutually exclusive event like uh, the probability of a or c or probability of a union c will be not equal to probability of a plus probability of c this is for non <clears throat> mutually exclusive events for the mutually exclusive exclusive events uh, the probability of a union b or probability of a or b will be equal to separately probability probability of a plus probability of b so it means uh, to combine, uh, to find combined probabilities of mutually exclusive event, we just have to add their probabilities. So we understand uh, this uh, this concept deeply with this uh, work example. Uh, six. A card is drawn at random from a standard pack of fifty-two playing cards. Find the probability that the card is an ace or a king. So how many aces uh, fifty-two pack has? Obviously, it is uh, four four aces similarly four kings <clears throat> the probability of an ace will be four over 52 because there are total 52 cards similarly for the probability of king four over 52 so as they are mutually exclusive event uh, it means they are not dependent on each other uh, uh, so their combined probabilities uh, or probability of ace or king will be added like four over 52 plus four over 52 it gives you one uh, 2 over 13 at the end. Similarly, for the probability of heart or diamond. So you just have to add the, the probability of heart and probability of diamond. So hearts are 13. Similarly, diamonds are also 13. So 13 over 52 plus 13 over 52. So it gives you 1 over 2. Third one, neither a king nor a queen. So probability of king or queen will be probability of king plus probability of queen. So there are four kings and there are four queens, queens in the 52 cards. So four over 52 plus four over 52 gives you two over 13. This is the probability of king or queen. Neither queen or queen has have to subtract this probability from one. So probability neither king or nor queen will be one minus probability of king or queen. So the answer is 11 over 13. So exercise 3B. So exercise 3B, question number one. 11 cards, question number one, 11 cards numbered 11, 12, 13, 14, up to 21 are placed in a box. Our card is removed at random from the box. Find the probability that the number on the card is even. <clears throat> even. So I'm writing the sample space. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So this is sample space set. So number of uh, total possible outcomes will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Eleven. So in part one, probability of uh, getting even cards. Probability of even. So uh, how many even cards? In the sample space, one, two, three, four, and five. So there are five even cards. The probability will be five over total outcomes are 11. All right, next part two, probability of prime. So 
So we have to count the number of prime numbers. So one, two, three, four. So there are four prime numbers. So four over 11. Third part. Either even or prime. Even or prime. So we will add these probabilities and they are mutually exclusive uh, events. So uh, in this, uh, uh, sample space set, uh, you can see that uh, prime numbers are four and even numbers are five and they are not, uh, there is no common prime or even number in this sample space. So they are mutually exclusive events. So they, we can add their probabilities in third part. So right here, probability of uh, even or prime will be equal to probability of uh, even plus probability of prime. So probability of even was 5 over 11 in part 1, so prime 4 over 11. So just add them, 11, 5 plus 4 gives you 9. Part 3, sorry, part 4, divisible by 3. One, two, three, and four. So there are four numbers which are multiple of three or divisible by three. So probability will be four over 11. Neither even nor prime. So you just have to subtract this probability from one to get this. So probability of neither even nor prime will be equal to one minus probability of even or prime. So one minus this nine over 11. So answer will be two by 11. Okay, next question. Question number four. The probability of a football team winning any match is 7 over 10 and the probability of losing any match is 2 by 15. What is the probability that the team wins or loses a particular match? Obviously, they are mutually exclusive probability, uh, events, uh, winning or loses, winning or lose. So there are probabilities can be added or, or something to get the combined probability. The team wins or loses a particular match. It's in part one. Probability of the team wins or loses will be equal to probability of win plus probability of probability of losing. So winning in probability is this seven over 10. And what about losing this two over 15? So the 10 and 10, 10, 15 LCM is 30. So 30 divided by 10 is three, three multiplied by seven plus 30 divided by 15 is two, two multiplied by two. 
So we get 21 plus 4 is 25 over 30 or 5 by 6. Part 2. The team neither wins nor loses a match. So it's just let us subtract the previous probability from 1 in order to get the second. Probability of neither wins nor loses will be equal to 1 minus probability of wins or loses. One minus probability of wins and loses is was five over six. So answer will be one by six. Next question. Question number six. When a golfer plays any hole, the probability is that will that he will take four, five, or six strokes are one over fourteen, two over seven, and three over seven, respectively. He never takes less than four strokes. All right. Calculate the probability that in playing a hole is he will take four or five. We just have to add the probabilities of, of the respective probabilities. So part one probability of four or five strokes will be equal to probability of four strokes plus probability of five strokes. Probability of four stroke is one over fourteen in given in the question. For five stroke, the probability is two by seven. So 14 is the LCM, one into one. 14 divided by seven is two, two into two. So we get three by 14, sorry, five by 14. One plus four, five by 14. Part two. Probability of four, five, or six strokes. We just have to add the individual properties of four. Probability of five. And probability of six strokes. So one over 14 plus two over seven plus probability of six was three over seven. So the combined LCM, LCM is 14. One into one plus two into two plus 40 divided by 7 is 2, 2 multiplied by the numerator. So we get 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 6, 11. 11 over 14. Third, more than 6 strokes. So it's just, it's very easy. As uh, we know that uh, he never takes less than 4 strokes. Uh, so the <clears throat> probability of uh, playing uh, more than uh, six strokes will be the remaining probability. It means we can find it by subtracting uh, the previous probability from one. So probability of more than six strokes will be equal to one minus 
probability of four, five, or six strokes. One minus this eleven over fourteen. So we get three by fourteen. Next question. Question number eight. Every year, only one student can win the Student of the Year award. The probabilities of Priya, Ruifan, and Amira winning the award were, are one over three, one over eight, and one over ten, respectively. What is the probability that one of them will win? One of them will win. It means it's actually probability of winning the winning this award by Priya or Ruifan or Amira. So we just have to add their probabilities in order to get this. Probability of one of them will win. Will be probability of Priya winning winning plus. Probability of Rui plus probability of Amira in winning equal to just add these probabilities one over three plus one over eight plus one over twenty. So the LCM is. Forty. No, sorry, forty. So I guess one twenty. So one twenty by three gives you forty. Forty into one. One twenty divided by eight gives you fifteen. Fifteen into one. One twenty divided by twenty is six. Six into one. So forty plus fifteen, fifty-five divided by six, sixty-one over one twenty. Part two. None of them will win the award. We just we have to subtract it one. Minus the previous one, sixty-one over twenty. So it gives you fifty-nine over one twenty. Number three, Priya and Rayfend will not win the award. Which means we have to subtract their winning probability from one. So one minus probability of Priya minus probability of Rui Feng. So one minus Priya's probability was one by three, and Rui Feng's probability was one over eight. So the LCM is twenty-four. So twenty-four into one minus eight into one minus three into one. So twenty-four minus eight is sixteen. Sixteen minus three is thirteen. So answer will be thirteen over twenty-four. Next question. Question number ten. In a game, Jun Wei attempts to score a penalty kick against a goalkeeper who will try to save his shot. There is an equal chances that he will score or miss his penalty kick. It means the probability will be one over two, one over two for both cases. Jun Wei has three chances to score, and the game ends once Jun Jun Wei scores a penalty kick.
Draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes. So what is the total number of outcomes? So I'm going to draw the tree. This first. Score. No score or zero. In the first attempt, in the second attempt, chances of score or zero. This is second. And similarly, if we get zero in the first, I guess if, I, if he makes score in the first attempt, no need to write the next branch. Yes, if he gets zero in the first attempt and in the, the second chance. So it can be a score or zero. Similarly, if second attempt score, so we not need to draw the branch for the third. If he scored in the second one. But if you score zero in both, then we have to draw the third chance branch as well. So it is score or zero. So this is the complete uh, uh, tree diagram. So you can see that there are one, two, three, and four branches. So possible outcomes will be four. So part A is, answer is four. Event A and B are defined as follows. A event is exactly two penalty kicks are attempted. B, at most two penalty kicks are attempted. Exactly two or at most. So the events are exactly two penalty kicks, sir. Exactly two penalty kicks. Sir. So this or this. Second case B. Event B at most two penalty kicks are attempted. To once means maximum. So again, this and this, it means they are not a mutually exclusive event. They are the same events. So the answer is, in part B, we have to write the answer. They are not mutually exclusive events. They are they are same. All right, this is your home assignment. Uh, you have to do exercise three B complete, including those questions we have discussed in this lecture. Okay, take care. Allah. Yes.